In today's lessons, we are going to teach you how to merge two div into one div with one shadows. But actually, we are not going to create two divs. Instead, we are going to use after and before pseudo elements. And actually, the logic is as simple as this. First, we create this card with some text on it. And then we create another shape. For example, we create a square on top of this card. But there is shadow on it. So we have to create another shape to cover the shadows. But of course, we use the same colors as the card. So now we can create the merge the div with only one shadow. And first, we go to our project and we just create a simple index.html. And then we create a template. And then we just need to create a div with the cards of card. And then we have the H3 elements, and we just type some tests. And then we have a div. So if we open it with our live server, you can see we have these tags already appeared in the website. And then we just back to our folders and create a CSS file we call styles.css. And then we go to the index and link to this CSS file. And then we back to the CSS file and we create these two styles. One is pointing to the body and we just want to have a 100 viewport height and have some light gray. And it used this place at first. And these two lines make this centers the div. And this is the cast, the cut of cast. And it has the width of 40% and it has the white and we use the width of fit content so it can depends on the content width and adjust its width and then we make use of the position relative because later we will use the pseudo element before and after to do this project and then we want to create a square that just on top of this card so what we can do is to use the pseudo element before and then we use the position attribute. And we have the width and height of 10 pixels. And there is no content. And you can see the left is, it moved it left 50%. And then it translates 50% negative, and also negative 80%. And we can see this if you command this. You can see. This is at here. And because we want to move up, you can use negative 100% to move up. But we just want to move a little bit. So we use 80%. And you can see actually the square is not at the center of the card. So we have to use negative 50%. And now we turn it to the white. Now, if you do not add any shadow, it already done that the cut and the square already merge. But if you have the shadow, just like this, and we paste here, we want both the small square and the cut has the same shadows. And then we save it. You see, it seems no problem. But if you change the directions of four pixels, you can see it has the shadows at here instead of merging on each other. So we are going to fix this by using the after element. So what we want to do is make an element cover these shadows. So for example, to make it more obvious, we make it as red colors and save it. Now you can see it covers all the card because it as the width and height is 100% the same as the card. So now instead of using all the height, we just turned to 10%. Now you can see it already covered the shadows. So now if we change this to white, now you can see it merged these two with only one shadows. But how about if you're creating a two tips which is a 
triangle instead of a square. So let's replace this with triangle. And if you do not know how to create a triangle, you can see another tutorial about how to create a triangle in our YouTube channel. And then we save it. And now you can see we have the triangle on the top. However, there is a transparent square at here. This is because it actually is a square, but we just use transparent to make it disappear. But after it at the shadow, it appeared again. So how to deal with this problem is instead of using the boss shadows, we use the job shadows by adding the filter. Now you can see it already has the shadows and also it do not have the transparent square and it just like a little bit separate. So actually we can just like before, you just adjust the height. Now you can see it already merged to the card and you can also adjust this height. So you make it longer. So it cover the shadows. So we back to the white color. Now you can see it already merged together with only one shadows.